stepping into your heart space and getting to know who you are individually at an authentic soul level, the culmination of your mind, your body, and your spirit is the way to attract your soul tribe, your circle, or your network of kin, of individuals who will stand with you in non-judgmental ways and who will celebrate you in all aspects of you, who accept you for everything that you are. Hi, my name is Misty and I bring messages to the Awakening Collective. And today I am being guided to talk to you about learning how to step into your heart space and letting your heart lead the way. When you let your heart lead the way, it will draw you to the things that are meant for you. And when you do so, you step into this sense of celebration, not only of yourself, but of everyone around you. You learn how to stand in an element where you are so confident in who you are that that very essence projects to the things outside of you where you are then able to walk and traverse this world in a non-judgmental way that reflects love, that reflects unity, harmony, and balance. I started this reading with the Three of Arrows. The Three of Arrows is a card that asks you to step into your heart center and let it lead. This is a card um, that kind of denotes stepping out of the space of your mind and stepping into your intuition, learning to hear what your intuition is saying by stepping away from the noise of the mind, by rejecting intrusive thoughts, by stepping into this element where you can just feel peace for a moment, where you're not exactly focused on anything in particular, but connecting. As you start to embody the three of arrows and you fortify that connection to your own self, we then step into the three of bowls, which is a card that denotes being led to your circle of spiritual kin, of individuals who are meant to be in your experience. When you are in the divine natural flow that is intended for your life, you can't help but be drawn to these individuals and to these experiences that will further your own development on a mental, emotional, and physical level. It's a state of being that allows for more and more and more growth and for integration of different aspects of you that you've never really gotten to know because we've been so busy being stuck in the space of the mind. And so um, doing this leads us to the energy of the Ten of Bowls. Now this is a card that really represents standing in your own awareness, standing in your authenticity, and being able to celebrate who others are and what other things are and appreciating the energy that they bring to a situation as you move in to the flow of your divine mission, these things will just naturally come to you and it gets easy. You got to do the work to get out of the mind. But once you step into the state of flow, it is magical. It is amazing. And it will bring you into communion with every experience that is meant for you and all experiences are meant for you to help you to teach you something to guide you in one direction or another but tapping into your intuition is imperative in this journey getting to know who you are 
getting to know yourself and getting to know 